Let's suppose that we have a region defined or bounded by y equals x and y equals x squared. So let me, let me just draw a picture of that real quick. Here is x squared, and then we have x. And let's suppose that we want to take this enclosed region right here and revolve it about the x-axis and figure out what the volume is for that solid formed. Okay, that's what we want to do. Now, let's just look at this a piece at a time. Let's suppose that I simply want it to revolve y equals x about the x-axis. Well, I could use the disk method and say this is pi, and I'll have my bounds of integration here. But it was just x squared, right? Pi times radius squared dx. Where this is my function x. And that would give me all of this area down here. It would give me all that area down there, or all that volume. That if we, if we consider this region here and revolve this whole region about the x-axis, we'd get a cone. Right? We'd get a cone. You can see that. But we don't want the volume of that cone. We want only the volume of this little thing, this little wedge here, revolved around the axis, the x-axis. So we don't, want, we don't want this extra down here. So what I'm going to do is subtract that off. Pi x squared squared. In other words, I want to subtract off the volume of what I don't need. And that's the volume of this solid when I, when I revolve x squared, this region about the axis. So it's a matter of subtraction. I want to take this big volume and, and sort of take a jackhammer to this uh, volume that I don't need, get all that cleaned out. So, this, so it would look like this. We would, if we could combine these integrals, and we would have x squared minus x to the fourth. So you're just combining these integrals. See, the first one minus the second one. And I've factored out the pi. Now we still need these limits of integration, so I need to find out what the points of intersection are here. So I could just set x squared equals to x and solve that. So I, I bring the x over, factor out the x, and I get that x equals 0 or x equals 1. That's, those are the, that's the solution to this um, equation, this quadratic equation. So my bounds of integration, my limits, are 0 to 1. So I can put those in. So this is what we would use to get that volume of that solid. We would integrate this. And that's, you know, that's pretty simple to integrate that. So I'll, I'll just leave that there. Now, let's suppose that we wanted to change it a little bit. And instead of revolving this around the x-axis, let's suppose that we wanted to revolve this region about the same region about the line y equals 1. Okay, So now we want to revolve it around this line up here. Okay, so let's see what this would look like. Let's just draw a picture. Might help us to visualize what we have to do. So we've got the f of x equals x squared. We've got you know y equals one here, and we're revolving this this region right here. This region about y equals one. Well, think about think about it this way. Let's think about what happens if we take this a large radius right here. See that? In other words, go all the way from one down here to x squared. Well that would be 1 minus x squared. That's this length right here. 1 would be all the way down to the x-axis, but minus x squared would be this. This is 1. This is 1 minus x squared. So we're talking about this radius here. Okay? Then, but that's not what we need. We don't want this big solid right here, all of this. We need to subtract off this part right here. Well, what is that part? Well, that's 1 minus x. See? 
Here is the big radius, and here's the small one. This is what we want to subtract off. We want to subtract off this inside here. So think about it. If we get this big solid right here revolving around, and then I subtract off this solid revolving around, that should be what we're looking for. So look, here's, here's what we have. We have the integral from 0 to 1, and of course pi is out front. We get the this big solid, right? This one, that's the radius there. And we subtract off what we don't need, which is this solid, right? And that would give us the volume that we're looking for. And of course, all that's left to now is multiply this out and integrate. But the, the, the hard part is getting it set up. But that's what we would do.